Hello guys, Rick DeBeo here. Today we have some news in the world of currency. Big banks and the New York Federal Reserve Bank are going to start testing digital currency as of today. This information is coming from Coindesk.com. A group of major banks and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York have started to test the use of digital tokens representing digital dollars to improve how central bank money is settled between institutions. Citigroup, HBC, BNY Mellon, and Wells Fargo are among the banks taking part along with payments giant MasterCard, the New York Fed announced today. This 12-week proof-of-concept pilot program will explore the use of a platform known as the Regulated Liability Network, or RLN, whereby banks issue tokens that represent customers' deposits that have settled on a central bank reserve on a shared distributed ledger. So this project will be conducted in a test environment only uh, by use of simulated data. But the thing is, is they're getting ready to launch it. And as I just described a couple of weeks ago on council.org, here's where you can keep track of the digital bank currency tracker. This tracker shows the globe of the entire planet and what status every country is in. Again, I had mentioned back then that China was still in a pilot program. This is yet to be updated for the U.S., but you should see a pilot program also as the way China is. Again, there are also 11 launch programs in effect already with digital currency. That's the Bahamas, Jamaica, Nigeria, and eight other uh, regions or eight countries in the Eastern Caribbean. So many banks are developing or considering developing retail central bank digital currencies, which are forms of digital money used by the public. Many are also testing wholesale CBDCs, which are fiat money in token form or exchange among financial institutions to improve existing clearing and settlement processes. So as you can see guys, that's another step leading into what's coming up. Uh, we can see the signs getting closer and closer to closer in a one world government, one world religion, one world currency in this case.